As we begin to wrap up this unit and ask the question of when did the human species begin? Are modern humans associated with a speciation event late in the Pleistocene? Or are we associated simply with the beginning of our lineage, the beginning of the Pleistocene, the origin of the genus Homo? One of the questions we have to ask is, when do we begin? What are the boundaries of humans, Homo sapiens, as a species? So we could use an anatomical definition of modernity, an anatomical definition of Homo sapiens. But we'd find that that definition is complex, that those features we associate with modernity, going back to bipedality some five million years ago, develop across a long range of time. They might coalesce and converge some 150 to 200,000 years ago with expanding populations out of Africa, but many of them go back much longer than that. The same is true if we look at other kinds of definitions of modernity. If, for example, we look at the use of language, human language capabilities, or the use of symbolic thought and the production of material culture that reflects the ability to produce symbolic thought. Again, we can see that that is not necessarily a clear defining point for how we might limit our species, Homo sapiens. Even if we look, for example, at the genetic record, we'll see that the picture is complex. Much of our genetic variation, perhaps most of it, comes as a result of events that have taken place over the last 200,000 years. That expansion of a big modern human population leaving Africa some 150,000 years ago. But some of it goes back further. Some of it goes back deeper to our Neanderthal past or our Denisovan past. So how we choose to define the species Homo sapiens reflects our understanding of the evolutionary processes that have shaped us, but they also change where we're going to put the beginning point of that species. One of the items to think about as you move through this week is when did we start? When is the beginning of our lineage? And not just when did we begin to become human, but when did we become Homo sapiens? What are the key characteristics we use to define Homo sapiens? When did they converge onto something that we might think of as the species Homo sapiens? And again, when are the evolutionary forces? When did reproductive isolation create that lineage? So how we think about the definition of Homo sapiens, the definition of modern humans, affects how we think about how evolutionary forces have shaped that pattern development of Homo sapiens. So that's something to think about. What are the limits of us as a species? Where do we begin?